Hi, this video is from interview.com. Welcome to Spring MVC tutorial. In the previous video, we were talking about what is URL pattern in Spring MVC. But in this video, I'm going to talk about what is model view object in Spring MVC. What is the role of a model view? Why do we need a model view object in Spring MVC? First of all, let's see what is model view object. The model view object it extends from the object class. It is to hold both model and view in the web MVC framework. So you have model, both the data and the view information. It's a single object which is going to hold the model and the view. This class holds both to make it possible for the controller to return both model and view in a single return value. It represents the model and view written by the handler to resolve by the dispatcher server. So dispatcher server, it will try to resolve the view using the view resolver. There is one more controller, one more uh, class which is going to take the string of string value, the view name, and it's going to prepare the view. And it will also give the model object to the view resolver. The view can take up take the form of a string view name which will be need to be resolved by the view resolver object. I'll show you in the code how exactly it is done. Model is a map allowing the use of multiple objects skewed by name. And these are the different types of constructors available in available for model view where you can create a model view, new model view. You can give the view name as a string, you can give the model name as a map, then view name as a view object here view object directly instead of string we are, we are giving the view object directly and the model map let me show you the code so that you can understand what I'm talking about is this model object this is from the spring framework okay model view what it can do is it can create a can hold both the view name this is the view name in the constructor we are passing it as a string and this string will be resolved by our view resolver who is our view resolver I'll show you the URL based view resolver so this is the one is going to take the uh, this view name and it's going to prepare the view and we are adding actually we are preparing model object here we are adding a lot of hotels multiple hotels here in the model view add objects okay so, so key value we are sending it and I want to show you the view name one minute so list of hotels this is the view name that we are giving here I just want to show you how exactly we are going to use this model objects in that page if you see here we are trying to iterate here if you see here this is the one we are trying to we are using for each and we are trying to iterate this hotels so this is the string that we have passed okay from this we are going to take the object and we are going to start using it so what will happen is we will ask uh, the the spring Spring will call the get of this get ID, get name, get address, get order type, get number of rooms, and it will start preparing the view. Okay, so before giving to the browser, it will do a for each. I trade the I trade this object. This is a list. Okay, so it will iterate and it will prepare the view. So basically, we are preparing, we are sending the view name and the set of model objects. I'm going to just uh, click here hotel list so now the control is going to come here I can show you how exactly it is preparing the view so we are pr we have given the view name we have got the hotels it takes a little time So model view it has queried the database and we have got the it's running till now still it is running 
so we have got all the model objects okay so this is the purpose of model view object hope this video is useful in the next video we can see what is at controller annotation thank you and all the best